Hi guys, my name is Luke Davison. I'm an AEC software consultant here at Pentagon Solutions. And today I'm going to be guiding you through one of the exercises that we cover in our AutoCAD Essentials course, which is available both online or on site. So the topic that we're going to be covering today is this basic drawing and editing commands topic uh, that comes in the AutoCAD Essentials course. And essentially it focuses on the most basic drawing element, which is the line. Um, so you can see here um, on the PowerPoint some information you get about the how to input lines and how to input them in different ways, uh, more accurate ways as well. And something like this is what you'd get uh, if you were doing an online course. Um, the instructor would share the screen or, or you'd be getting a copy of this at the end of the course anyway, uh, just with some information about the different tools. Um, and objects, for example, uh, that, that are available in the software. So just following on from that, there is a wee bit more follow-up information just about different drawing modes uh, in this case. Um, so once you've sort of covered the tool basic, uh, the basic areas of the tool or the command, there will then be a demonstration. And this could be if you're on site and an in-person demonstration, uh, or if you're online, it might be something like uh, the video that I've got here, so I'm just gonna let this run, um, which is by clicking play here. Right, guys, so just gonna be running through some of the basic drawing commands here. Um, so I'm gonna come up here to the home tab, uh, draw a panel and select line. And what I'm gonna show you with the, the line command here is down here at the bottom, we've got ortho mode, which you can activate by pressing F8, where you can find it in the status bar down here. I'll just show you what that does. I start a line command there, you can see I can place it um, anywhere. But if I come back and I turn on that ortho mode, you see that I can only draw at every increment of 90 degrees. I can place it, but I'm locked to 90 degrees there. Another way of accurately placing lines in the drawing is actually to use dynamic input. I'm just going to turn or through off down there, and you'll see just the left of it, there's dynamic input. What this allows you to do is, if I select the line here and pick my first point, you'll see here that there's a, a small box with the distance uh, highlighted in blue there of that line with the angle highlighted in this instance is 70, 17 degrees. So what I can do is the value that's highlighted, I can go and directly type into that. So and for example, I'm going to make this line 1,500 uh, units long. Once I'm happy with that distance, if I press tab on my keyboard, it then moves you from the distance over to uh, the angle in this, in this case. So I'm going to draw that at 45 degrees, enter that in, press enter to confirm that on your keyboard. And you see that that line has now been drawn. I can continue working uh, using that method, dynamic input to continue working on my drawing. That's those basic tools. All right, so that's a sort of example of a video which might be included in um, the PowerPoints from the one day courses. And um, so we're just moving on then, once you've actually went through the information about uh, whatever it is you're covering the topic, there is then an option to consolidate that learning uh, with the practice exercises. and. These are taken from Autodesk certified courseware um, and they'll just cover the topic that, that's just been uh, covered by the instructor. Uh, and there's actually larger practices as well every so often uh, that brings multiple commands or, or tools together. Um, so you can see in this example one, there's just an area here, um, a floor plan that is getting to draw using the different uh, various tools. Uh, and there's another, another page following on from that. To learn more of, of these uh, sort of tools, um, such as how to work with layers and blocks, uh, or more advanced modifying and geometry tools, you can book onto one of our AutoCAD courses. There is, as I was mentioned at the start, the AutoCAD Essentials, which is a three-day course, but we do actually offer uh, two one-day courses, the Refresher and the Intro, as well as a series of different uh, Revit courses and Novice courses, and there is a full list uh, you'll, you'll find that on the Pentagon uh, web page.
Thanks for watching. Make sure you follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and LinkedIn.